Tonight's fight is sanctioned by the WBC Muay Thai and supervised by the California State Athletic Commission. Their chairman, Tim Noonan. Vice Chairman Julio Ramirez and Executive Officer Armando Garcia. The judges for tonight's bout are the Honorable Vichai Sukipal, Ralph McKnight, and Chris Adrian. The doctors at ringside are Dr. Bear Gamboa and Dr. Richard Kestanon. And of course, your timekeeper, none other than the legendary Grandmaster Fred Peterson. In the blue corner, wearing blue, he weighed in at 139 and a half pounds, standing five foot six, age 22, direct from France. He's fighting out of Team Nassar with a record of 72 and eight, 24 by way of KO. He is the WBC world champion. I give you Fabio, the golden boy, Pinka. This is a terrific French fighter. He is the WBC International Lightweight Champion. And he's come a long way for this fight. Arrived yesterday from uh, France. I'd say I'm thinking we've seen him before and he's a good one. There's no question, Phil, but he's the type of fighter that doesn't like to get here a week or four or five days ahead of time. He likes to get here the day, you know, before the fight and ready to go, which is very unique for international travel, Phil. When you were traveling uh, to Asia, uh, typically when did you like to arrive in Japan? Seven days. Oh, wow. Just because of the time zone, the time change. Room service. Oh, I wish. I gotta say, I stood at some of the finest hotels in Japan, though. The Kyo Plaza, the Otani Hotel. And in the red corner, wearing black. Weight 135 pounds. He stands 5 foot 6, each 38. From Bangkok, Thailand. He's fighting out of Team Ekyotin. With a record of 135 wins, 35 losses, 3 draws, 15 by way of knockout. This man is both a Lupinia and Raja Dagnan Stadium champion, but also is the only fighter ever to win Fighter of the Year two years in a row. I give you Gunsaw. Well, he is known simply by Gunsaw. We know him as extraordinary. Tie fighter. And Blake, this was supposed to be a rematch for the WBC lightweight championship, but uh, Pinka showed up from France a little bit heavy, and now it's uh, simply a WBC super fight. Well, absolutely. When it's a title fight, Phil, you know, they make you make the weight or you pay a few dollars out of your purse to your opponent because you didn't make the weight, and that's what happened in this one. Pink ended up having to give up some of his purse money to Gunsock. And I'm sure Gunsock was only a too pleased to accept that uh, bit of cash. Yeah, it's interesting, Phil, wondering, would he rather have the cash or this just be a title fight on the rematch? The first one was a war, no question. Both fighters with extraordinary records. Third man in the ring. Dead, not we, the three of them. The third man in the ring this evening. Dave, not we, three of them. And fashion your seatbelt as we get set for a WBC super fight between Fabio Pinka and Gunsock. Gentlemen, I want clean fight. A one fair fight, obey my command at all time. Defend yourself all the time. Good luck to you. That's good. Back to him. Now, Blinky, who do you like in this fight? That's a tough one to call here. It sure is, but it sounds like there's some that cross the big pond to come and see Pinka do his thing. Five rounds of super fight action.
think a pretty relaxed feel, looking to just kind of fill out, looking to get some distance, not loading up on anything in particular. You know, Gunsock, one of the Thai fighters that uh, really likes to begin quickly, and that's uh, sort of a break with Thai custom. Oh, absolutely, Phil. Gunsock is known for getting off quickly, and, and, and he's already backing uh, Fabio Pinka back. to the inside the, the takedown instead of the back of the leg the front of the leg Pinka landing to the thigh of Gunsock good jab by Pinka different fighters, Blinky, and uh, more often than not, you'll see the eyes of a fighter looking right at the sternum of his opponent, but Gonsaki is looking at him square in the pupils. Well, he's dialed in without a doubt. Are fighting a uh, very methodical fight, taking his time, picking his shots carefully. loading up a little more. The first round was more like you were looking for distance land. Some good shots though. Here working that left leg to the inside and the outside. Now he goes up high with it to the head of Gunsock. Pinka with a good jab, Phil. You utilizing it effectively too, keeping it in the face of Gunsock. Attempted right hand of the body by Gunsock. A little out of distance there. Gunsock now fighting from the southpaw. I mean, uh, Pinka fighting from the southpaw stance. Done a good job on the back leg takedown of Gunsock. Fourth time in this fight we've seen it. Good jab. Nice stiff jab right off the nose of Gunsock. That definitely has a reach and height advantage. He being Fabio Pinka, the French fighter. Well, Pinka doing a great job using the left arm jab and the left leg jab and then ducks under the sweep 
leaping leg of Gunsock. And it's not like these two guys don't know each other. Phil, remember, this is a rematch. Yep. They've already been introduced once. controlling the, the tempo of this fight, Phil. As he raises his arms going back to his corner, I think he feels the same way. There he throws a left leg kick, comes back with the jab from the softball, straight left hand. There he grabs the leg of Gunsock and does that back leg takedown again, Phil. Pinka. Most of the highlights this round have to be on Pinka. He landed a cleaner blow. The left hook there. Although Gunsock was rolling away from it, it still scored. Another takedown. And there's the shot that almost wound up uh, landing Gunsock on the crown of his noggin. We are set now for round three, and what a good one this has been. Front kick to the body by Pinka. From Sack Conley with a right leg kick of his own. Officially through two. Well, unofficially, I'm going to have the French fighter edging out uh, uh, the tie fighter, Gunsock, simply on volume. He landed the cleaner blows with the jab, and they traded there, but he's been uh, actually the more active of the two fighters. There, Gunsock trying to land a big right hand, and came back with the left elbow. Gunsock looking to get a little more feisty now, and I think that's what the fans are waiting for. Jab left hook. Suck. It looked a lot better than it was damage-wise, but again, it got the crowd to go, ooh, and the judges said, oh, good jab. And that's what I'm talking about. He's got a good jab, so he can use it all night long because he's not getting a lot of movement from Gunsock. It's not like he's slipping, sliding, giving you head movement. He's there for the taking. Gunsock tries to roll the left elbow in on uh, Pinka. Pinka having none of it. Good left hand there by Gunsock. He needs to let him go more freely. Inside leg kick by Pinka. The cleaner blows again, landing by the French fighter. No question. There's that movement there is what the French fighter needs. A little bit of head movement, a couple of feints, just to keep Gunsock off balance. They can begin to land, maybe even a straight right hand. You know, Blinky, uh, here in this third round, I, I really believe from what we're seeing here, Pinka is putting on a clinic. Coming back with round four, and this has been a terrific. Fabio 
Opinka has come all the way from France and is fighting quite a fight tonight. There's no question, Phil. He's not wasted a lot. He's been very precise, and he's been landing that jab. He needs to get back to it because that's opened a lot of, lot of, uh, of, the, of the key to the door for him tonight. You know, Fabio did come in heavy, Phil, and we got to remember that when you're looking at a great fighter, you know, such as Gunsock, that already was moving up in weight class to fight him, and then Fabio comes in heavy. But nevertheless, I mean, he's throwing a, a punches and bunches, he's loading up on the leg. He's the more active of the two fighters. Tempted high kick to Fabio just got under. by Fabio Pinka. Again, the type fighter content to staying close to the ropes, Phil, looking to counter more than anything else. Good right hand to the rib cage of Gunsock. And that's where he's, he's got to take advantage, Phil. Starts dropping those hands. Come back with the right hand over that jab and then finish with the hook. There, Fabio trying to land the left uppercut. Left elbow. holding the leg and throws the left hook landing. Well, you see the way he's peppering him with that jab, Phil? He can really come back with the right hand right behind him. Or a left, a left long kick off that jab. There it was. Jab right cross, left uppercut. Card as I'm keeping it here at ringside. I don't have Gonsuck one in a single round. And here we see Gonsuck attempting a, a right roundhouse kick to the body of Pinka. Pinka just has him pinned on those ropes, keeping him at bay with that jab. There he leads with a straight right hand. And I'm going to have to agree with you, Phil. I don't see where Gonsuck has really, really uh, had any momentum in this fight. Even there, he attempts a high kick. Pinka getting out underneath it and slipping it. Right hand to the body there, kind of bent uh, Gunsock in half a little bit. There, Pinka grabbing onto that left uh, foot and then trying to deliver the shot there. Get the left elbow there landing on the ear of Gunsock. This is the fifth and final round. Well, this is the fifth and final round. from France in the blue against Gunsuk from Thailand. Gunsuk has been trying to fight a, with his back to the ropes, countering this whole fight, and it has just not worked because Pinka is leading either with the left hand as a jab or the left leg, and Gunsuk can't get on. There was an attempt spinning out, but you're absolutely right. And separate from that fact, uh, Pinka's faster. Quicker hands, quicker feet. There's that 
right jab again. I'm just, I'm just bewildered why he wouldn't throw the right hand right behind it, Phil. He's landed that jab all night long. He's hooked off it like he did there again. with our conversation, Phil. There goes that right hand again. He's finally letting it go. Left elbow. What, he wants him to do what? Wants him to kick him in the cup? Challenging him to come out to the center of the ring. and kicks up. You know, and Gunsock not, not slipping any of those jabs, taking the full brunt of them. They're a stiff jab. And Gunsock not, not doing anything to, to disrupt the momentum and the movement of the French fighter, Fabio Pinka. Punch combination. Final seconds of this fifth and final round. And Blinky, I will be surprised if Pinka doesn't win this fight 50 45 all the way across the board. I'll be stunned if it's any closer than 49 46. And here we have Gunsock again just absorbing punishment from Fabio Pinka. Pinka there. Attempts that spinning elbow. Tried at least three of them in this fight. I don't know if any of them ever landed very flush, but those can't do damage. There's that stiff jab I've been talking about. Right hand really off the mark. There he grabbing the leg of Gunsock, countering with a left kick of his own. There's that straight right hand. That had some leverage on it. And there's no question that Gunsock felt the power of that right hand. Well, I think he felt the power of Fabio Pinka for five rounds. And there are a series of combination punches by Fabio as he tosses Gunsock to the canvas. Well, let's Ladies and down. gentlemen, we have your decision. Judge one scores about 49-46. Judge two has it 50-45. And Judge three has it. 50-45, all in favor for the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Fabio Pinka. Good call, Phil. 